From the one and only, this is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Nicole Perez, and here's a look at the stories making news on this Tuesday. A tragedy on the water over the holiday weekend. A teen was killed and more than a half dozen others were hurt when a packed boat slammed into a buoy. Family and friends gathered today for a sunrise memorial service to honor 17-year-old Lucy Fernandez, who died on Monday from her injuries. Classmates returned from the holiday break with heavy hearts and hope that the other students injured will pull through. A total of 14 people were on the boat. Two of them remain in critical condition. The cause of the crash is under investigation. The driver charged in a wrong way crash that claimed five young lives is back behind bars after initially being released. Police say Mikey Simeon was driving the wrong way on the Palmetto Expressway last month before he crashed head on into a car killing five friends. Simeon was originally given a $50,000 bond and house arrest, but today a judge agreed he should be taken back into custody and held until his trial begins. Only on 10, a former gym employee has been arrested after he allegedly attacked a member at the LA Fitness in North Miami. Christian Rollins is accused of smashing a metal bar onto a man's head, leaving him with serious injuries. Police say the attack in late July was unprovoked and that gym goers rushed to help the victim after he was hit. Rollins was eventually caught in Central Florida. The victim's current condition is not known. The only fans model charged in her boyfriend's stabbing death back in court today. Police say Courtney Clenny stabbed her boyfriend Christian Albumselli to death during an argument. Clenny appeared in court for an evidentiary hearing as her legal team fights to limit the public release of the prosecution's evidence. They're arguing that sexually explicit content on her private social media pages could potentially taint a future jury if it were to be released. The judge denied the defense's motion. As breaking news happens, we have you covered on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates.